Hello, welcome to Exploring Visual Studio 2017. My name is Ken Tucker. I'm a web developer at SeaWorld. I was a Microsoft MVP from 2003 to 2016. The course overview. So what we'll learn in this video is about some of the Visual Studio 2017 improvements. For example, the new installer. Then we'll learn more about live unit testing which is available with Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise. Very cool feature. We'll learn about NuGet and we'll add the Entity Framework to a uh, console application. We'll learn about some of the Windows Azure projects. And finally we'll learn about continuous deployment with Visual Studio 2017. So under the Visual Studio 2017 improvements, we'll learn about the new installer, how you can select the different workflows of uh, Visual Studio. For example, if you're a desktop developer, you can only install the stuff for building desktop applications, your web developer, etc. You can also install more than one version of Visual Studio 2017. That means if for some reason you want the Community Edition and the Enterprise Edition, you could do that. Plus, you could also install the Preview Edition, which has upcoming feature changes or enhancements is probably a better way to put it. And uh, for example, when the first instance of our update of Visual Studio 2017 included Python. We'll also talk about the new performance tools and the debugging enhancements included. Then we'll look at live unit testing. Live unit testing is really cool because it allows you to write unit tests, update your code, and as you're making changes to your code, you immediately know if your unit tests are still passing or failing. You'll either see a little checkbox or an X saying that it's uh, failed or passed. And if you have a little white uh, blue line next to it, that means that your method is uncovered by tests. Then we'll learn about NuGet. NuGet is a package manager, and we'll learn how to uh, add pro pack packages to Visual Studio and uh, use them in your pro projects. And in our example, we'll learn about the adding an any framework core to a console application. Then we'll look at some of the different Windows Azure project types. We'll learn about Azure Functions, Azure Mobile Apps, and finally the Azure Service Fabric Apps. Then we'll end the course learning about continuous deployment. We'll learn about what is DevOps, learn a little bit about Visual Studio Team Services, and we'll learn how to set up continuous deployment of a website. 